Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in singing, O Canada. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Robert Thirsk, and I'm the Chancellor of the University of Calgary. It's my pleasure to declare convocation officially convened. Please take your seats and rest comfortably. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional territories of the Blackfoot and the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Siksika, the Pikani, the Geena, the Tsutina, and the Stony Nakota First Nations, including Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nation. The University of Calgary is situated on land adjacent to where the Bow River meets the Elbow River. The traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which is the place that we now call the City of Calgary. The City of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. It's a pleasure to welcome today's graduates who sit before me, along with family and friends, to this afternoon's convocation ceremony. University President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Elizabeth Cannon and I are pleased to welcome honorary degree recipient Bonnie DuPont and the Order of the University of Calgary recipient Robert Mansell. And I'm also pleased to welcome Mr. Gordon Ritchie, Chair of the University of Calgary Board of Governors, members of our board, members of our Alumni Association Board of Directors, alumni uh, University Senate members, members of the Student Union Executive, and the Graduate Students Association Executive. A warm welcome to Ms. Leela Sharon Ahir, MLA for Chermil Rocky View. Mr. Craig Coulihan, MLA for Calgary Klein. Ms. Anam Kazim, MLA for Calgary Glen Glenmore. Dr. Jim Dinning, Chancellor Emeritus, as well as past honorary degree recipients, Dr. Bev Longstaff, Dr. Mary Rose de Coquet, Dr. David Workland, and distinguished graduate, Patty Pond. A special welcome to professors and staff from the faculties of graduate studies, art, social work, and the Workland School of Education. Thank you so much for your hard work over the last years to support our graduates today. And to family and friends. You're here celebrating with a mixture of pride, joy, and a shared sense of accomplishment. You stood by your graduates over the course of their degree, offering words of encouragement, a voice of reason, and the occasional shoulder to cry on. Thanks to each of you for the love and support you've given to our graduates. In fact, graduates, let's pause for a minute because what I just said is important. As you know, 
the NHL hockey season is now well underway, and one of the greatest traditions of the hockey is that immediately after putting the puck in the net, the scorer will turn to the player who got the assist and point to them so that everyone in the arena knows who set up the goal. And this upholds the notion that hockey is a team sport. Well, post-secondary education is also a team sport. Graduates, do me a favor, look around and find your family and friends up in the bleachers. In fact, graduates, do me a favor, stand up. Stand up, graduates, point to those people who assisted you in graduating today. Wave and cheer, make some noise, show them you're grateful. Thank you, graduates. Take your seat. And yes, to our assembled graduates, congratulations. You are the University of Calgary's class of 2017. Woo hoo! As you know, our university celebrated a significant milestone last year, turning 50 years old. Your graduation will forever and uniquely kick off the next half century of pride at the University of Calgary. And it's also Canada's 150th anniversary of Confederation this year, so you are graduating at a special time in history. Besides celebration, convocation is also a time for reflection Whenever we reach a milestone, it's appropriate to pause and take stock of just what happened. For many of the undergraduates here today, your first week at the University of Calgary began several years ago with student orientation and an induction ceremony. And I attended last year's induction ceremony and enjoyed the remarks by a, uh, to the first year students by uh, current graduate, Nolan Hill. I was particularly intrigued by Nolan's statement that he is today a transformed person with different skills, different attitudes, different perspectives than four years ago when he began his undergraduate studies. How has your time at the University of Calgary transformed you? You are undoubtedly more independent with new knowledge and skills. Your perspectives about our world and your personal relationships have evolved. Your beliefs and priorities have changed and you are more confident than when you first stepped on our campus. How did this transformation happen? Well, your experiences in lectures, labs, and tutorials had something to do with it. So did your positive relationships with your professors, your TAs, and other students. Your involvement in clubs, sports, and student government stretched you, and the unique culture at the University of Calgary that focuses on research, hands-on experiences, and entrepreneurial thinking also played a role. The barrage of quizzes, exams, finals, midterms, projects has been nonstop. The pace has been rapid and not always fun. Of all phases of life, perhaps the university years are the most dynamic. Be aware, however, that personal transformation is not limited to the academic years. Humans evolve and progress throughout life. Ongoing life experiences spark personal growth, to become vibrant, resilient, self-reliant, problem-solving citizens, we continually change and grow. If I had the capability to go back in time and give advice to 22-year-old me, I would recommend that I take more time for self-reflection, reflecting on where I came from, how I got here, and where life could potentially take me. Someone once said, if you don't measure it, you can't manage it. Of course, as an astronaut, I buy into that. If I don't have feedback from the Canada Arm 2 position and rate sensors, then I can't control the robot arm's trajectory to maneuver a payload around the outside of the space station. This measuring and ma managing axiom also applies to life in general. We need to regularly measure what has transpired in our lives and manage our future the way we'd like. We shouldn't let life control us. We shouldn't go with the flow. We need to be in charge. So here's a suggestion. Divide the rest of your life up into four-year increments, as though life is a series of university degrees. Pause at the end of each of these increments and ask yourself if your life has undergone significant change and if you are transforming as a person. 
If the pace of change slows or stops, we need to be concerned. If I'm doing the same things in the same way that I did four years ago, then something is amiss. If the way I conduct a spacewalk or make a public presentation or plan an event is the same as previously, then I'm not innovating or progressing. If the opinions that I hold today are the same as they were four years ago, then I'm in a rut. You have been a student at the University of Calgary and excelled with flair. As you leave our campus, become a student of life, a lifelong learner, a lifelong producer. That approach will produce transformation in your personal life as well as change in the world. What happens next in your lives matters to us. We'll watch with pride as you make your marks in the world, and as alumni, you will always remain part of the University of Calgary family. We wish you continued success and happiness. And now it's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Craig Coulihan, MLA for Calgary Klein, to bring greetings from the government of Alberta. Well, thank you, uh, Chancellor Thursk, and good afternoon, everyone. President Elizabeth Cannon, members of the Board of Governors, Dr. Robert Mansell, Order of the University of Calgary recipient, graduates and guests, faculty and staff, and ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here on traditional Treaty 7 territory to bring greetings from the Minister of Advanced Education, Honorable Marlon Schmidt, and the Government of Alberta. And I want to begin by congratulating Dr. Robert Mansell uh, for being recognized with the Order of the University of Calgary. On behalf of all Albertans, thank you for your tremendous contributions to the field of economics, the University of Calgary, and the province. Your dedication and drive inspires us all. I see this dedication and drive in the graduates here with us today. Congratulations to the class of 2017. Today you join an esteemed community of graduates and alumni whose achievements and contributions continue to raise the University of Calgary and our province to new heights. The University of Calgary has always been a post-secondary institution that empowers people to excel. It has a remarkable reputation for helping students unleash their potential and for producing leaders. Leaders who have the courage to blaze their own trail and who are catalysts of positive change in our communities, society, and economy. As up-and-coming leaders with a world-class education in hand, you are more than ready to brave the unknown and conquer new challenges. Alberta's economy is looking up, and this means there are more opportunities for you to pursue the career that you want. And access to quality post-secondary education is especially vital. Education is the single most important investment a government and an individual can make. That is why our government restored education funding and froze tuition fees to keep a quality education accessible and affordable. So we could help you with your personal investment of money, time, and hard work, the rewards of which you are celebrating today. You have invested in yourself and your education, and now it is time to realize the benefit of that investment. The University of Calgary graduates and alumni have a lasting legacy of achieving success, and that is nothing but good news for Alberta. The last few years have been challenging ones for our province, but we are on the recovery with the fastest growing economy in the country this year. And as we rebuild and continue to thrive again and recover from the downturn, I know that every person in this room will step up to help return our province to prosperity. Because that's what we do in Alberta. That's what Albertans do. With your talents and skills, there are no limits to what the class of 2017 can achieve. And I encourage you to dream big, follow your heart, and contribute to your community. Congratulations and best wishes in your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Coulihan. I now invite President and Vice Chancellor Elizabeth Cannon to come forward to address convocation. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this very special occasion. 
I'd like to join the Chancellor in welcoming our distinguished guests, including members of the Legislative Assembly, members of our board, Senate, and senior leadership team, as well as representatives of our Students' Union and Graduate Students' Association, members of our university community, benefactor of the Workland School of Education, Dr. David Workland, our honorary degree recipient, Bonnie DuPont, our Order of the University of Calgary recipient, Robert Mansell, our distinguished graduate, Patty Pond, and all of the friends, family, and other supporters who are here today. Most importantly, I'd like to send a warm welcome to the graduating class of 2017. Today marks such an important milestone in your lives, and each one of you has worked very hard to get here. You've faced many challenges and opportunities, you've discovered new ideas and friends, and you've grown on all levels, personally, professionally, and intellectually. Your degree goes beyond being an academic achievement, it's a personal achievement. And in a few moments, all of your hard work will pay off. You will cross this stage and go from being students of our university to being graduates and alumni. Congratulations to the class of 2017. Now I'm joined on this stage by those who care deeply about excellence in teaching and learning. They're passionate about the quality of higher education and they're dedicated to the success of our students. Please join me in thanking them the faculty and staff of the University of Calgary, members of our Board of Governors and Senate, chancellors past and present, and many community supporters. Those on the platform, please stand so we can thank you for your commitment to our students and our university. Thank you. Every convocation is a once in a lifetime experience and I consider it a great honor to preside over this tradition. I also find that every convocation is a reminder of what makes this university great and that's you. As students, you represent our next generation of innovators, leaders and community builders. During your time here, you've contributed to this university's reputation for excellence. And I'd like to share two stories that illustrate this from our graduating class. The first is of Leah Schmidt, who graduates today with a combined Bachelor of Arts Honors degree in International Relations and Women's Studies. Leah is a passionate advocate for social justice and accomplished leader on our campus. She has earned top grades in her studies while also contributing to 10 different organizations such as the Students' Union Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity and the Campus Model UN Program. Recently, Leah completed a co-op term with Canada's permanent mission to the UN in New York City. This experience helped her gain new, height, new insights into geopolitics and policy development. Leah is looking forward to pursuing a graduate degree in gender studies and political science. Congratulations, Leah. The second story is of Joseph Windsor, who graduates this afternoon at the PhD in linguistics. This will make him a three-time University of Calgary alumnus. As part of his PhD program, Joey completed a dissertation on the hierarchical structures of Irish and Blackfoot languages. He has received numerous awards for his, this innovative work, and he has also supported the success of his fellow students through the Graduate Students Association, the Program Review Committee of My Grad Skills, and many other volunteer roles. Joey currently works as a language creator at Shadowborn Games and a research associate on our campus. He plans to start a postdoctoral project this upcoming year on digital technologies and indigenous languages. Congratulations, Joey. <laughs> These are just a few examples of how you have made our community a better place. 
and there are many other such stories in this graduating class. I also believe that the same values that have helped you succeed as students will serve you as graduates, and I know this because I've witnessed it firsthand. Each year, the University of Calgary holds the Arch Awards to recognize outstanding alumni. These award recipients are inspiring in all manner of ways. They are world-class doctors, Olympic medalists, and business leaders, just to name a few. And while the nature of their work varies, these alumni have shared the same vision. They wanted to make a positive difference, and they were dedicated to using their education and their skills to do so. These alumni, just like all of you here today, demonstrate what is possible when we invest in our students. Given the right support and resources, you are capable of sparking such positive change in our city and around the world. This is why student experience and campus culture are integrated throughout our university's Eyes High vision. As you know, we launched an energized Eyes High strategy as a legacy of our 50th anniversary this past spring. This energized vision reflects over 10,000 different points of input on how we should continue fostering a strong university family and continue our journey of being bold and ambitious while firmly grounded in excellence. We want to create an environment where all members of this family have the support they need to excel. And to achieve this, our vision prioritizes entrepreneurial thinking, which is part of Calgary's DNA. With the announcement of the Hunter Hub for Entrepreneurial Thinking this past May, made possible through a $40 million gift from Calgary's own Hunter family, we are well on our way. We are continuing to build a more diversified, resilient Calgary and preparing our graduates for future success. Thank you. Our vision also includes the launching of the university's first Indigenous strategy later this month. This strategy reflects our country's shared, shared journey towards truth and reconciliation. We are working together to foster teaching and learning as well as scholarship and community partnerships that are inclusive of Indigenous perspectives. All of this work guides us towards our commitment to be recognized as a top five research university in Canada, grounded in innovative teaching and learning and fully integrated with the communities we both serve and lead. Graduands, this is our investment in you and it's been worth it. You are leaders and creators, problem solvers and change makers who will join an alumni community of more than 173,000 strong in 152 countries. You have the talent and the education to take you wherever you want to go and I know that you will go far. Congratulations to each and every one of you and please keep your eyes high. Thank you. I would now like to ask Dr. Robert Mansell, recipient of the Order of the University of Calgary, to please stand. The, the university draws its strength from its community, its students, its faculty, its staff, its alumni. The Order of the University of Calgary recognizes those within the university family who have brought great honor to the university. Robert Mansell is a deserving recipient of the order. As an economics professor and a dedicated leader, Robert has helped build our university's reputation as a global intellectual hub. His passion for public policy led him to author more than 100 studies on the resource sector and public utilities, as well as regional and national fiscal policy issues. 
Robert has been a key part of our Department of Economics for many years. He has served as head of the department, dean of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, and associate provost. In 2003, Robert was appointed as advisor to the president on energy and the environment and founding director of the Institute for Sustainable Energy, Environment, and the Economy. He led initiatives that raised over $450 million to construct the Energy, Environment, and Experiential Learning, or EEL building, and other projects. His leadership also contributed to funding for 100 new faculty positions on our campus and in support of 2,000 new incoming students. And in 2009, Robert served as the academic director of the School of Public Policy, working with Dr. Jack Mintz to build what has become the leading policy school in Canada. Robert continues to be very involved at the university, and he regularly serves on provincial and national committees, councils, and task forces. His passion for energy innovation, sound policy, and leadership has made Robert a great role model to so many of his students and colleagues. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Robert Mansell, a true citizen of the University of Calgary. I invite you to admit him as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary in recognition of his exemplary and distinguished service to the university. It's my great pleasure to now admit you, Robert Mansell, as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I would now like to introduce Aretha Van Herk, our university orator, who will deliver the citation for our honorary degree recipient. Bonnie DuPont, please stand. Eminent Chancellor, Madam President, members of the Senate and Board of Governors, Honored guests, fellow faculty, graduates. One of Canada's marvelous attributes is that we are a land of ice and snow. And so we understand the value of icebreakers, ships that can move through ice blanketed waters. It is impossible to find an encompassing metaphor for the woman we are privileged to honor today. Bonnie DuPont is not a clumsy ship. She is a suave, elegant icebreaker, one who moves steadily forward, who has shattered ice and glass and even solid brick walls. Bonnie DuPont, has Bonnie DuPont has accomplished so much that words are inadequate. Formidably visionary, she is insightful, perceptive, innovative, intuitive, and resourceful. Chancellor Thirsk says he would go to space with her. <laughs> and hundreds of women would walk on broken glass for her. She has forged an open path through myriad obstacles as an executive in the energy and agriculture sectors and as an effective leader in multiple ways. Her work in human resources, safety, governance, and public policy is extraordinary. She is a pioneer, a volunteer, and a verb, an action word in motion. 
Her collection of firsts is phenomenal. She was the first or only senior woman for at least 15 major Canadian organizations. This includes her work as the first woman executive of Saskatchewan Power, the first woman senior executive at Enbridge, and the first woman president of that all-male bastion, the Calgary Petroleum Club, <laughs> breaking what had been four years. <laughs> Those are just a few. She was named one of Canada's 100 Most Powerful Women from 2003 to 2006, and she was appointed to the Top 100 Hall of Fame. Bonnie DuPont's service to this university is particularly significant. From as far back as President Murray Fraser, asking her to serve on a committee studying the issue of sexual harassment on campus to her role as the first woman chair of the Board of Governors, she has given to our campus her energy and mentorship, supporting students, faculty, and administration alike. But firstness is not her drive. Her motivation has always been to clear open water for others women and men. Her motto, I might be the first, but I better not be the last, encompasses her determination to bring about change. Eminent Chancellor, let us honor this trailblazer, this woman who inspires all with her imagination, her elan, her intelligence, and her wisdom. On behalf of the Senate and the University, I invite you to invest Bonnie DuPont with the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. It's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I admit you, Bonnie DuPont, to the degree Doctor of Laws on Eris Causa and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Eminent Chancellor, Madam President, distinguished deans, faculty, and staff, Madam Orator, members of the Board of Governors and Senate, my dear family and friends, my dear friends, and most importantly, you, the graduands. Aretha, you never fail to amaze me and move me. Thank you so much for that tremendous tribute and you are a star in my universe. And thank you to the University of Calgary for this tremendous honor that you have bestowed upon me today. This is a great university, made greater in the last few years by a stronger strategic vision and strong leadership. I applaud the faculty and staff for their tremendous contribution to the growth of this university that Dr. Cannon has shared with you. I applaud the Chancellor, the President and her team, and the hardworking Board of Governors and Senate. What a super contribution you have made 
to the next generation of professionals in this province, in this country, and indeed in the world. Thank you so much for your hard work. And I applaud you, graduands, who are here today as a testament of the value of hard work, perseverance, creativity, and caring. Your education and the degrees you have earned matter to us, and we will all be enriched by the contributions that you will continue to make. Now, our chancellor was very clear with me about the rules when he asked me if I would accept this honorary doctorate. He told me I had to keep to about eight minutes, um, and that's about the right length. So in keeping with my respect for authority, Commander Thirsk, <laughs> I will keep to the time limit. But just before I get into my remarks, and speaking of our chancellor, did you know that Robert Thirsk received an honorary doctorate from this very university in 2009 while he was in space? He is the, he is the very first Canadian ever to receive a university degree while orbiting the Earth. Now, isn't that, that is amazing, isn't it? It's traditional for the convocation speaker to pass on some nuggets of advice designed to assist new graduates move forward on the next phase of their lives. So most speakers will urge you to be yourselves, which I always found a little ironic since you're all sitting there in the same outfits and wearing the same hats. Some will suggest that you follow your dreams and your passion, and I agree. I agree with both of those views. But before I start with my piece of advice, I just want to make an observation. This is one of the biggest days of your life, right? Your parents and family members are bursting with pride. They may never have been as proud of you as they are in this very moment. So I ask you, would this not be the right day to ask for a loan? <laughs> Anybody disagree with me? No, I didn't think so. I want to share some of my views on um, a couple of items, but one is the whole business of a career ladder. People will have talked to you about a career ladder. I don't think a career ladder is the most useful metaphor to describe how we experience work in the 21st century. The ladder metaphor implies a straight climb upward and one step at a time. I prefer to visualize a labyrinth, a career labyrinth. A labyrinth allows you to move sideways, forward, and from time to time to double back. A labyrinth is, by its very nature, a series of obstacles. It allows for missteps and mistakes. It can present unexpected opportunities. There's always an option in a labyrinth. Retracing one's steps can actually lead to progress. A labyrinth requires adaptability and learning. And there might be multiple paths that can lead to a satisfactory conclusion. A labyrinth can be tricky to navigate, and it requires an awareness of one's own progress and an alertness to avoid dead ends. About six months after I graduated with my first degree, and I, my first degree was a BSW. Yeah. <laughs> a supervisor told me about a job opportunity in another department. She thought that it would be a good fit for me and for my interests. I really liked this woman. I saw her as a mentor, and I thought I would learn a great deal from her. I actually wanted to continue to work with her. I also knew 
that I wasn't qualified for the other job, which was advertised as requiring a BCom. I didn't have a BCom, but she encouraged me. She thought the other job was a better fit for me, and she thought that I would grow more in the role. And so I applied for the job. And guess what? I got the job. It wasn't a promotion. It was a lateral move. The new job was an incredible experience for me, and it really was a much better fit. And it launched me in a new and unexpected direction in my career. And that's how I started moving along in my labyrinth. The new job was not in social work, but rather in labor relations. But the skills that I had focused on in my BSW, program planning, program evaluation and administration, a little bit of counseling, they were just what was needed in that new job. And so my first nugget, do not be defined by your degree. It's very important, you've worked hard for it, but do not be defined by it. Be willing to see other possibilities. Take on new opportunities. This will require a degree of comfort. This will require a degree of risk taking. But take on assignments in spite of the fact that you may not feel fully qualified for them. And you will surprise yourself. One of the things that we know about opportunities that are presented is that sometimes those opportunities are presented by people who see something in you that you have not yet seen in yourself. Someone sees a talent, a particular quality that gives them the confidence that you can do something different, something outside of your comfort zone. Do it. Remember this. The greatest advances in our society were made by people who had the courage to meet a challenge. They confronted their anxiety. They took a chance and they risked failure. They pushed back the boundaries and you can do that too. My second point is around lifelong learning. Don't think for one second that today is the end of your education. It's just starting. With the achievement of any degree, you are really just beginning. Leaving the University of Calgary, or perhaps staying to pursue further studies, you are now embarking on the learning that will assure you success in your chosen field. And while this degree is an important part of the equation, it, in fact, may not define your entire career path. Especially be open to opportunities to learn from colleagues and peers. Respectfully use the experienced people around you as mentors. Learn from their experiences and take in the wisdom that they have acquired. Mentors provide support and serve as an important network in your career labyrinth. These are your role models. My next point is about giving back. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. As members of the University of Calgary community, you know the importance of volunteerism, and you know the importance of community. In fact, many of you have been involved in volunteer activities on campus while you were working on your degree. If you've been volunteering, maintain that focus. If you haven't yet started volunteering, figure out a way to do it. It is very, very rewarding. My closing point is around kindness. People may forget what you did, and they may forget what you said, but they will never, ever forget how you made them feel. Life can be tough. Things will not always go as planned. But if you can maintain your own dignity and respect the dignity of others, when the storm is over, 
as it inevitably will be over, you will be able to learn something from the experience and you will have kept the relationships intact. There will be budget cuts. There will be office politics. There will be jerky coworkers. There will be unfair bosses and micromanagers. A multitude of irritants. Rise above it. Take the high road. And remember, no one but no one is immune to the ups and downs, the vicissitudes of this beautiful thing we call life. Again, thank you to the University of Calgary for this wonderful honor, and all the very best to you, the class of 2017. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. DuPont, for your thoughtful words and also for accepting this honorary degree. Uh, it's actually an honor for us, the University of Calgary, to confer it. You're our role model for being a principal leader, a volunteer, a mentor to women and also to men, and you're an inspiration for the contributions that you've made over the years to make our institution world class. Thank you. Graduates, can you please stand? Eminent Chancellor, Madam President, on behalf of the faculties of the university, I present these graduates and those named in the convocation program who are unable to be here today. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the University of Calgary degrees that they have earned. As a graduate of this university, you join a worldwide kinship of educated persons who have earned opportunities and responsibilities of leadership and service in their chosen communities. To recognize this affinity, we invite each graduate to stand and join with the thousands who have gone before in making the University of Calgary graduates pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but is a solemn expression of your intention to apply your learning and experience positively for the widest benefit. I invite all past graduates of the University of Calgary to support these newest alumni by also standing and affirming a graduate's obligations and ideals. Could I ask all past graduates to also stand? It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished graduate, Patty Pond, who will lead the graduates' pledge. Patty is the president and CEO of Calgary Arts Development. She is an arts champion who has contributed many years of leadership and service to Calgary's theater community. Patty holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama from the University of Calgary, as well as an MBA in Arts Administration from the University of British Columbia. Please join me in welcoming Patty Pawn. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Graduands, I will now lead you in the graduate pledge on the inside back cover of your program. Please follow along and also read aloud. When we finish, you will all say along with me, this is my pledge. As a graduate of the University of Calgary, wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights opinions, and dignity of all peoples. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen fields. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will be a loyal ambassador for my university and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. 
I will honor all who have shared their knowledge with me and will in my turn share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my field or come under my direction. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute, ever seeking to earn the peace of good conscience. This is my pledge. Authority of the Statutes of Alberta, and upon the recommendation of your faculties, I admit you to the University of Calgary degrees you have earned and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> Graduates, please be seated. Um, to family and friends here, we're going to start the procession of graduates across the stage now to receive their uh, degrees. There'll be a slight pause here between 30 and 60 seconds. Don't go away, uh, but if you want to take a sip of water, that would be fine as we move our first cohort of graduates to the, um, to the stage left here. We'll be right back with you in 60 seconds. Eminent, Ch Eminent Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. My name is Lisa Young. I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of Graduate Studies. I'm delighted to see the remarkable number of graduates here today earning PhDs and master's degrees. These are tremendous individual accomplishments and these graduates are prepared to make great contributions to the advancement of knowledge and to the practice of their professions. All graduate students at the University of Calgary are registered in the Faculty of Graduate Studies, but they find their home in their, in their teaching faculty. So it gives me great pleasure today to join with the Deans of Arts, Education, Social Work, and the Director of the School of Public Policy in congratulating these graduates today. Eminent Chancellor, by authority of the Council of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, we have the honor of presenting the following graduates. For the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Area of Study Anthropology, Sheila Marie Holmes. <laughs> Josie Viro. Anna Yancey Morales Arce. Kara Grace Tremaine. Rebecca Suzanne Carruthers Denhode. Gustavo Adolfo Caballero Orasoco. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Yutaro Sakai. Oscar Zapata. Congratulations. 
Joseph William Windsor. Gu Soon Il Kim Tongur. David Ignatius Torre. Mariama Zami. Sarah Bano. William James McCauley. Rita Dungal. Carolyn Lee Gulbranson. Amory Allison Hamilton Henry. For the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Educational Research, Liana Carly Appelt. Yes. Susan Patricia Brayling. Susan. Marguerite Garrow Oliver. Kimberly Ann Grant. Tyla Christine Charbonneau. Anna Alexandra Duffy. Alana Ireland. For the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Clinical Psychology, Sarah Farstad. <laughs> Leanne Quigley. <laughs> Cody Ray Rulo. Aina Vukatana. For the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Applied Psychology, Alyssa Ann Altamari.
Dawn Nicole Bremner. Francis Kalu. For the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, Zijiang Chen. For the degree, Doctor of Education, Allison Jane Wood Gray. Ardith May McGowan Plant. Kyron Bailey. Eva Brown. David Andrew Carlgren. <laughs> Christopher Charles Hooper. David Masao Ikenowe. Nan Stevens. Andrew James West. For the degree, Master of Arts in Economics, Iyad Nadal Alassal. For the degree, Master of Arts, Educational Research, Galicia Salon Blackman. Master of Arts, English, Benjamin Alfred Blythe. <laughs> Master of Arts, Sociology, Salome Boteng. Master of Arts, Religious Studies, Rachel Alexandra Braun. Master of Arts, Archaeology, Gabrielle Elizabeth Brown. Master of Arts, French, Italian, and Spanish, Samantha Marie Caron. <laughs> Master of Arts, Economics, Yu Hu. <laughs> Mentage, Singh Hundal. <laughs> Hupa Katun. Master of Arts, Educational, Psych Educational Research, Solange Piriette Lalonde. <laughs> Chuan Mei Lin. <laughs> Paul Norman Minier. <laughs> Brittany Michelle Paris. Peter Nikolaev Peltikov. Mm -hmm. 
Mary Cecilia Porter. Yu Ki. Ryan Chung Quan. Master of Arts English, Philippa Louise Ruddy. Michaela Elizabeth Stewart Stephen. Pencheng Tu. <laughs> Natalie Vilku. Master of Arts Economics, Kai Wang. Master of Arts Anthropology, Shasta Ellen Webb. Brandon Kirk Wood. Yu Yao. Master of Education, Education Research, Mian Wazik Ali. Kara Ashemeyer. Carissa Huberlina Oje. Michelle Margaret Berrigar. Jenna Marie Bishop. Colin Nicholas Borst. Robert Michael Buck. Colleen Bushrod. Sarah Anna Teresa Caldwell. Matthew Brian Carpenter. Patrick Cote. Deb Cummings. Christy Nicole De Boone. Crystal Lee Derbyshire. Colleen Doyle. Susan Dawn Ellingson. Daniel Paul Ferguson. Christy Ann Philgate. Cami Jennifer Harney. Claudine Kathy Johnson. <laughs> Terence Kaminsky. Jillian Marie Kuzina. Yvonne Michelle Lalashur. Jacqueline Rose Lobley. Alura Mishra. Deirdre Margaret Mooney. Jane Jacqueline Pollock. Amrit Kar Rainanen. Mary Ann Miranda Rees. Joelle Christine Reynolds. Kimberly Michelle Rezazade. Ashley Lynn Richardson. Sabrina Jane Rock. 
Paula Andrea Rodriguez Velasco, Elaine Sunderland, Ina Terry, Jennifer Lynn Tudin, Sylvia Veronica Valdez Victoria. Lydia Ruth Vantiel. Susan Jocelyn Wattis. Tara Dawn Welsh. Leslie Joelle Wenzel. Alix. Marie Westgard. Lisa Marie Zoe. Master of Fine Arts, Morgan Taylor Campbell. Brandon Daniel Hardy. Zia Lynn. Gregory Allen Robb. Nugul Rodriguez Delojo. Almira Sarasthedadari. Master of Geographic Information Systems, Lauren Rachel Jewett. Harry Doyun Kim. Nicholas Chinonso Ojiako. Master of Music, Matthew David Bobien. Master of Public Policy, Matthew John Berry. Kirsten Ruth Boda. Andrea Marie Boris. Sarah Anna Brooks. Jonah Slunte Demo. Brittany Taylor Ilash Finley. Amber Griffith. Kieran Gurm. Zachary David Charles Harmer. Eric Grant Henningsmon. CJ Jackson. Dylan Francis Clemen. Braden Alexander Larson. Nancy Moak. Harkamaljit Kaur Nijar. Vladislav Ujikov. Dwani Debjani Paul. Vanessa Doreen Perrin. Christy Ray Peterson. Pra Patrick Rosser. Braden James Thorvaldson. Brittany Nora Whitaker. Crystal Nicole Wittevrongel. 
Jeremy Kwok Hin Wong. <laughs> Master of Science, Educational Psychology in School and Applied Child Psychology, Jessica Baratska Baratskawicz. <laughs> Leanne Christine Beach. <laughs> Tiffany Ann Bex. Degree, Master of Science, Counseling Psychology, Isabel Brun. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Ellis. <laughs> Genevieve Catherine Durban. <laughs> Master of Science, Psychology and Industrial Organizational Psychology, Anna Fanny Godelay. Kelsey Lynn Gould. <laughs> Stephanie Huynh. <laughs> Francisca Kinsel. <laughs> Maya Kuharchek. <laughs> Vivian Kwan. Emily Lacroix. <laughs> Danae Amelia Lot. <laughs> Jewel Danae Lowen. <laughs> Laura Margaret McCarthy. <laughs> Jasmine Aliyah Nathu. Victoria Lindsay Purcell. Taylor Michelle Chambry. Miriam Sharif Razi. Matthew Sean Shea. Stephanie Ursula Smith. Jesmine Malia Stone. Kirsty Ilona Toivoinen. Vanessa Marie Vector. Molly Elizabeth Williamson. For the degree, Master of Social Work, Sheena Michelle, Michelle Abar. Lori Ann Bentley. Suzanne Louise Connolly. Audra Celeste Fogin. Sahia Brianna Pearl Dawn Hayes Sparks. <laughs> Rawa Kibram. <laughs> Carol Lacassang Carpo. <laughs> Moira Star McNerney. Tiffany Ann Pierce. Christina Louisa Sato. Agnieszka Wolska. Master of Strategic Studies, Kiernan Allen Yazar McClelland. Post Bachelor's Certificate, Educational Research, Nipin Rose Oje.
Angela Marie Bain. Tracy Evelyn Bishop. Stacy Ann Running Rabbit. Tija Ursmund Tija. Candace Dawn Wilson. Post Bachelor Certificate in Educational Research, Andrea Elizabeth Woods Fair. Zhu Yang. Heidi Sybil Hurst. Sherry Michelle Simmons. Eminent Chancellor, this is the graduating class of 2017 from the Faculty of Graduate Studies. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Richard Sigurdsson, Dean of the Faculty of Arts. Chancellor Thursk, President Cannon, Dr. DuPont, Dr. Manzel, dignitaries, colleagues, friends and family of the graduates, and of course the graduates themselves. On behalf of all of my colleagues in the Faculty of Arts, uh, we wish you well, we congratulate you on uh, work so well done, and we very much hope that you will stay engaged and connected with the University of Calgary through the offices of the alumni of the University of Calgary and of the Faculty of Arts. With that, eminent chancellor, on the authority of the Faculty of Arts Council, we present the following graduates. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Culture, Karina Renee Foisy. Kristen Johanna Hodson. Sunveer Singh Johal. Amal Al Jobali. Carly Lynn Hoppenrays. Madison Marie Fertig. Silvana Franco. Aishad Adwami Badamosi. Keja Leanne Gittinger. Nina Kalfetch. Patricia Claire McMillan. Brittany Morrison. Faryal Nazir with distinction. Matt Cooper Pache. Catherine Robb. Jamie Root. Cole Richard Sagan. Carissa Rianne Thomas with distinction. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Development Studies, Mauricio Cesar Artiega Love. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Development Studies and a Bachelor of Arts in English, Diane Rose Honorio. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in East Asia, Jared Peter Kinsang Yi. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts Honors in Economics, Gavin Alec Jomarchuk.
for the degree Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Thomas Michael Bobbin. <laughs> Stephen Joseph Claussen with distinction. Joseph Ranlett Dargan. Connor Jeffrey Desotels. Mariam Amiria Keshevji with distinction. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in English, Melissa Sophia Mityok. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Zachary Aaron Shapiro. Tasha Sladek. Jesse Eileen Thompson. Matthew Alexander Waters. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in English, Margaret Joy Blanchett. Brenna Leanne Davies with distinction. Allison Irene Murray. Graham Douglas Eager. Donna Elaine Williams with distinction. Mohammed Taha Ramahatola. Mikhail Hermchandra Singh. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in French, Paula Andrea Velasquez with distinction. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in History, Joseph Charles Hubbard. Kevin Parker Coe. Taylor Joy McFarlane. Liam McVee. Vincent James Parata. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in International Indigenous Studies, Stephen Charles Cote. Yolanda Hasalo with distinction. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Jamila Bahe. Ala Buzriba. Mikhail Jonghan Choi. Grace Margaret Fullerton. Maria Laura Marin. Melissa Danielle Overton. Taylor Michiko Seikon with distinction. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Women's Studies, the first with distinction, the second first class, Leah Madeline Schmidt. <laughs> Scott Vu. <laughs> Rohan Wadwani. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Italian Studies and a Bachelor of Commerce, both with distinction, Tatiana Struina. <laughs> For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society, name Bakshayaj Rad. Angelina Audrey Cheng. Serene Fakey. Janelle Young. Angela Hoon. Noah Carfan. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts Honors in History, Blake Alexander Mitchell. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society, with distinction, Kalina Ninova. <laughs> Boleid Ruth Adeline Ogantemehe. 
Carly Vanessa Scafidi. Arsema Arsema Sultan. Doris Buciak with distinction. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Linguistics, Kayla Tamara Lees with distinction. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Daniel Kyle Bothwell. Mauricio Fernando Coleo Quevedo, with distinction. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Gabrielle Misha Limpen Nagtalon. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Nicholas Kenneth Bonucci. Sean Christopher Ross Cook. Naweed Dar. Chance Malone Davies. Punamji Kar Dalewal. Catherine Marie Harris. Flutra Kachuri. Michelle Marie Christensen. Samuel Jamie Maraquin. Levi Lorne Nilsson. Adam Sterling Rempel. Shervin Savet. Aisha Sajid. Geng Zhang. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and a Bachelor of Commerce, Kiran Virkor Ball. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Nicole Brooke Cooper with distinction. Caitlin Pineda Cordero with distinction. Eva Ramel Flukiger. Catherine Josephine Gentile. Shayla Danielle Klein. Sarah Louise Lolarga. Jake Vernon Stelnicki. Christy Marie Fedorko Bartos for the degree Bachelor of Arts in Russian. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in Social and Cultural Anthropology, Milos Cheklik. Christy Marie Edwards. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Erin Nicole Arthur. Rose Kassan Collins. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Arts in Urban Studies, Abby Emanuel Cuevos. <laughs> Ashley Jane Devira McKayan. <laughs> Jessica Arlene Hashe. <laughs> Shaylee Victoria Kissick. <laughs> Prairie Dawn Marie McKay. Nathan James Mitchell. Luke William Rowland. Eric So. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Urban Studies, Ryan Mitchell Aronson. Tiran Walker. For the degree, Bachelor of Communication and Culture, Eric Anthony Egan. Peyton Alberta Pickering. Dominica Ronsky. For the degree, Bachelor of Communication and Media Studies, with distinction, Monica Jean Henderson. 
for the degree Bachelor of Communication Studies, Emma Kathleen Carville. Kristen Michelle Fong with distinction. Bernadette Marie LaRose. Lauren Nicole McCougan. Deborah Mabudoy. Danielle Lauren Richard. For the degree Bachelor of Film Studies, Kristen Mallory Munson. For the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts Honors in Visual Studies, Mawish Ahmed, first class. Ryan David Milford Bilton, first class. Alicia Marie Mara Falvo. Paige Sienna Kachuk. Murphy Ann Mason. Callie Nicole Reimshen. Haley Shearing. For the degree Bachelor of Music in Integrated Studies, Devin Helena Kustas. Kevin Joseph Ponte with distinction. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Anthropology, Dante Marie Bruneau with distinction. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Archaeology, Cameron Michael Beaton. Alexa Chantal Lacroix. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Earth Science, Patrick Leroy Kulas. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Geography, Jacob Allen Babitsky. For the degree Bachelor of Science Honors in Psychology, Kendall Christy Fraser. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Patrice Alexis Fredette with distinction. <laughs> Kathy Kwok with distinction. Amadeus Edmund Meitner. Jacob Benjamin Roth with distinction. Nisha Vashi. For the degree Bachelor of Science in Science, Technology, and Society, Charmaine Ajmal. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 from the Faculty of Arts. Thank you. Eminent Chancellor, by authority of the Council of the Faculty of Social Work, Dr. Jessica Ayala and I have the honor to present the following graduates. These graduates are passionate and highly skilled professionals who have dedicated themselves to changing lives and building strong communities. We commend them to this leadership role in our community and welcome them to our alumni family. I say to each of them, go out and make a world of difference, just as we have seen with Dr. Bonnie DuPont an inspiring role model for all of us today. I know that each of our graduates will make us very proud as social workers. For the degree, Bachelor of Social Work, Saeed Abdirahman Abdallah. <laughs> Shauna Lee Bonke. <laughs> Heather Bauman. Magda Ray Carlson. Amy Agnes Collins, with distinction. Samantha Lee Cunningham. 
Lidia Veronica Espinosa. Debbie Sarah Farnsworth. Helen Fatour. Candace Lee Fournier. Brittany Jean Fredrickson. Michael Gerard Grant. Echo Jasmine Harkis. Crystal Camille Harvey. Lori Ann Hunter. Leah Patricia Marie Jans. Katie Josephine Kowalski. Deanna Marie Ladusur. Carrie Joan Lowe. Stephanie Rochelle Lucan. Ashley Victoria McNevin. Brandy Lynn Karen McLachlan. Skyla Lene DeWitt Modi. With distinction. Jody Ann Much. Veronica Olivia Nanuch. Janice Margaret Newman, with distinction. Violet Marie Noski, with distinction. Tando Nintini. Christine Marie Pearson. Aliyah Noel Peters. Ashley Dawn Richards. Walter Lee Skaggs. Selena Dawn Sliger. Connie Lynn Straub. Tasha Swampy. Jamie Lynn Waterhouse. Michelle Ashley Willier. Brittany Brianne Wilson. Samantha Caitlin Whipth. Alana Fern Zalisco. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2017 from the Faculty of Social Work. Good afternoon, my name is Dennis Samara and I am proud to be the Dean of the Workland School of Education. In a moment, we'll be presenting several of our um, Bachelor of Education students. I want to note that most of them do graduate at our uh, spring graduation. These are no less important. We warmly welcome them to the profession of teaching today. And while I have the mic, let me also congratulate the many graduate students who passed the stage, who were in programs hosted by the Workland School of Education. We're all proud of you and are looking forward to the leadership roles you continue to hold in our community. Eminent Chancellor, by authority of the Council of the Workland School of Education, Dr. Michelle Jacobson and I are honored to present the following graduates. For the degree, Bachelor of Education, Radha Pau. And for the combined program, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Kinesiology, Kelly Ann Mewissi.
eminent chancellor. This is the graduating class of 2017 from the Workland School of Education. Thank you. Well, this ceremony is first and foremost a celebration of your success and deservedly so, for you are an impressive group. We're now at the point in the ceremony where we single out uh, people, honored graduates for special recognition, those who've excelled in, the, in their studies to the point that they're recognized as medal winners. The details of the medals we're awarding at this ceremony appear in your convocation program on page 28. Madam President, eminent chancellor, board chair, platform party graduates, and everybody else assembled here today, we are pleased to award the following medal winner. And the winner of the Chancellor's Graduate Medal is Ms. Yuna Chow. Yuna received her Master of Art in Linguistics this past spring. This is in addition to receiving her BSc and BA honours from the University of Calgary. Her innovative Master of Arts thesis research combined a computational model with the empirical study of natural speech to better understand how people mentally process variation in intonation. Yuna has published her work in four academic papers already and presented at national and international conferences on linguistics. Her work has also earned her a Jos de Bruce from scholarship from the International Phonetic Association. In addition to her academic achievements, Yuna has served as a volunteer for the Graduate Student Association and a linguistics divisional representative in raising funds for the United Way. To recognize her academic excellence, which includes a perfect 4.0 cumulative GPA. Yuna is our 2017 Chancellor's Graduate Medalist. Congratulations, Yuna. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends who have come from far and wide, thank you for attending the convocation ceremony and supporting our graduates. What a pleasure it's been for us to see such accomplished women and men cross our stage. Thank you to our esteemed faculties, graduate studies, arts, social work, and the Workland School of Education. To our honorary degree recipient, Dr. Bonnie DuPont, and Order of the University of Calgary recipient, Dr. Robert Mansell, congratulations to both of you. Thank you to our orator, Aretha Van Herk, for your moving citation for Dr. DuPont. And congratulations again to our medal winner from the Faculty of Graduate Studies, Una Chow. Fall convocation wouldn't be the same without music. So to Alf Miller, our piper, our vocalist, Gretchen Castro Nuovo, and also to the Johnny Summers Quintet, Thank you. <clears throat> Graduates, how cool is it to have a jazz combo that backs you up during the procession? A special thank you to the people who have worked hard behind the scenes to make today's convocation ceremony unfold so smoothly. Our marshals and ushers, the sound team and comm media, and all the staff and volunteers. <laughs> to our graduates, through this ceremony, we have recognized your years of demanding work and commitment to your studies and also to your extracurricular activities. You've worked hard and we're very proud of all of that you've accomplished. Today is a day of celebration. Take photos with your family and friends, Cherish the memories that you've made along the way and party hardy this evening. 
You've done it. You're a University of Calgary a graduate, a distinction that you will carry with you for the rest of your lives. I'm proud to be an alumnus of the University of Calgary and honored to be as now associated with you as fellow alumni. I declare this convocation closed. Please stand for the departure of our processions.